I would never want to make anybody feel the way that those three young men that day made me feel because I felt that I was worthless and I felt that I was useless and I felt in God's eyes I was going to hell because he didn't love me. <sighs> now I know that is not the truth. God doesn't, my eyes doesn't make mistakes, so he couldn't make me wrong. One of the other things that it made me do is it made me realize that I had to love me and I had to understand me before I could ever expect anyone else to understand me and to love me. About 13 years ago, I self-actualized as a gay man. As you can well imagine, that was a painful process to go through. But in the end, once I realized that is truly who I was and who I am, I knew I had no choice but to be honest. And to share and live that truth with your children was difficult, incredibly difficult, yes. But that said, I really can't imagine anything worse than, in essence, bullying myself into pretending to be something that I'm not. Don't let others who try to demean you take one thing away from who you are. You are better and you are stronger than that. And every time you tell yourself that and really feel it in your inner being, it gets better. Peace. I feel pretty great. But then when I got back to school the next day, people thought I had asked that every single one. And because of that, they thought I was a lesbian myself. And this went on throughout the week and more and more people thought I was seriously a lesbian. I went from a joke to a fact that I was. And I started to wonder why can't I just care? Like, why do I have to be that to care? I mean, I can care about other people without being that myself. And I wanted them to know that. My son was two years old when we noticed that he was very, very different. And he came home one day when he was about six years old and he said, Mom, what does gay mean? And I said, what do you mean, what does gay mean? He said, everybody at school says that I'm gay. And at 14 years old, from the beatings and the misunderstandings of our family, he attempted suicide. We were told, um, as he was hospitalized, that my son is transgender. I have never met a gay, lesbian, or transgender person who chose that life. Who would choose to be ridiculed? Who would choose to be hated? I've never met one who's chosen that life, but I've met one who found that there's a God that loves them. So I think what you're doing is wonderful, and I am a witness, and my family is, are witnesses to what you've said. It does get better. It's not okay to put someone else down, to bully, or to discriminate against someone because of the sex they choose to love, or just because of who they are. I've grown up with a gay dad. There is not a specific point in my life when I learned that he was, or came to a great realization. I'd just always known. And it was normal to me. It's my family. He would sometimes ask, do you want to have a friend over? And I'd make up an excuse. I'm tired, I have homework, I'm not feeling too well. Because I was ashamed. I was ashamed because for years, the jokes and the remarks had made me think that my dad being gay, my family being different, was a bad thing. But it got better, and it still continues to. I've learned that when I embrace my uniqueness about my family, lots of my friends think it's kind of cool when they get to know my dad, because they've gotten to know him, and not the label of gay that many stick on him. So it gets better. When you embrace and love who you are, you'll find that there's a huge community of people who love you too, and who are able to see past the labels of your sexual orientation. I'm not going to bully or discriminate against anyone who's different from me. So that's a lot of years, hopefully, of not discriminating. And that's just one person. So think about it. 
If everyone in this room pledges not to bully or discriminate, that's thousands of years of a better world that everyone can live and be embraced in a world that, God, that looks more like one that God has dreamed for God's children. So it's not okay, but it does get better. I have a certain preference for the type of people I hang out with. And the people that ridicule people who are gay or are lesbian, I find that as somebody who is ignorant of the fact that what you're doing is demeaning somebody. And in high school now, my friends vary from gay, lesbian, straight, by whatever it is. And being in such a diverse group of people, you learn. You learn so much about them, and you learn that through all of the torment and pain that they have to go through, you see that they're stronger than anybody else that you could ever come in contact with. And it's good to surround yourself with those type of people because it makes you stronger. What we all are doing here tonight, and you particularly the young people that are here, is incredible. It is no different than what happened in the civil rights era that you are taking a stand. And the lives that you have touched already by being present and the lives that you will touch as you go out into the world and as you become adults uh, will only create a more open place for folks who are different and who are minority.